Hello football fans, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the game's heart, the pitch's center. It's a key part of positional play, and we will explore why. Like the middle squares in a chess game, the center of the pitch is a battleground. Teams fight to control it, but why? What's its role in positional play? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. In positional play, the center isn't just a place on the pitch. It's a space to control through smart positioning and movement. The goal, always have a teammate to pass to and progress in the game. In soccer, intentions are always key. Possession without the intention to score is not effective. Our first idea has to be to score and progress through the game. To do that, we must attack the center first to influence the opposing team's behaviors. Threatening the center forces the opposing team to collapse and narrow their structure. This creates new advantages in less congested spaces, providing more space and time. Pep Guardiola, one of the most successful coaches in modern football, once said, In football, there is only one good way to attack. Inside, you must attack the center forward, the center midfielders, and the center backs. Without this process, everything becomes much more difficult. You must make them move out to find spaces behind them. Otherwise, they will remain fixed. Interestingly, the idea of controlling the center isn't unique to football. In basketball, for example, attacking directly toward the basket forces the opposition to collapse their defense into the center, creating space on the outside. Scoring becomes much easier if they fail to block the path to the basket. The same principle applies to football. Controlling the center forces the opposition to tighten their defense, creating space elsewhere on the pitch. Many teams today are trying to play with as many players in the center as possible. Manchester City under Guardiola, for example, uses three center backs, two center midfielders, and two advanced midfielders. Arsenal, coached by Arteta, gave a crucial role to Zinchenko, starting from the fullback to flow with the game, providing support and controlling the game's tempo. And let's not forget FC Barcelona, coached by Guardiola, with a brilliant diamond composed of Xavi, Iniesta, Messi, and Busquets. This team won all the titles, practicing incredible soccer that influenced soccer history. But controlling the center is not just about attacking. It's also about controlling crucial spaces for counterattacks. Guardiola once said, Our defensive record is so good because 67% of the time, we have the ball. This encapsulates the essence of controlling the center in positional play. It's not about moving the ball aimlessly. It's about using the ball to manipulate the opponent's defensive structure, creating spaces that can be exploited. So, how do we combat this? The key is to maintain control of the center. This lets you control the game's pace, keep the ball away from the sidelines, and avoid getting trapped in high-pressure situations. It's a tough task, but it's definitely doable with a good understanding of positional play. In conclusion, Controlling the center is more than just a strategy. It's a fundamental part of successful football. Controlling the center can give you an advantage whether you're up against the opposition or on the sideline. So what are your thoughts? How can teams better control the center? Live for more football insights. Keep coaching, keep learning, and keep inspiring.